Yeah. Hey, boss. I didn't know you were coming in today. What's uh, going on here? I am glad that you asked. Listen up, everybody. In the last year, we have lost seven clients to the big chains. These gift baskets are our ticket back into their lives. We are going to show up at these businesses unannounced, and we are going to win them back. With gift baskets. With peanut brittle. With macadamia nut cookies. With chocolate turtles. With raspberry jam. And a little bit of fat and salt. Because you know what? That's what people like. Ever since I was a kid, people have been telling me that I can't do things. You can't be on the team. You can't move on to second grade. Well, now they're telling me that I can't win back clients using old-fashioned business methods. We'll see about that. And FYI, I eventually a second grade, and I was the biggest kid in class. Okay, we're gonna split up into teams. Jim Phyllis, Stanley Dwight, me, Andy. I'm not driving with him. I'll go with you, Stanley. Or him. Why don't we just go by ourselves? Why don't we just go as teams to demonstrate our teamsmanship? Michael. Yes. This is stupid. That's okay. That's not helpful, Phyllis. How is giving people gift baskets going to get our clients back? Gift baskets are amazing, Phyllis. Gift baskets are the essence of class and fanciness. They are the ultimate present that a person can receive. What about cash? Cash, you can buy whatever you want, including a gift basket. So it's kind of the best gift ever. What about a gift basket full of cash? Yes! Cash basket. Nice work, Tuna. Fine, I'm just gonna go by myself. And I'm going to win them back by myself, because this is important to me. And the reason we have stopped by is to drop you off this elaborate bag of goodies and to ask you to reconsider. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. So you'll reconsider? Okay, thanks for the goodies. Ah. Is that all you have to say? It looks delicious? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? Look, we want you back. Can you offer lower prices? Well, no. No, then we're not coming back. Well, he's not coming back. It's over, Michael. No, it's not. No, he's right. No. Accept it. Why would he come back? Why would he come back? I will tell you, Dwight, he would come back because we offer a wide selection of products and because you're definitely not getting the same sort of customer service that you get with us, That's are you? not going to change his mind. He's moving on. We had our chance and we killed it. No. <sighs> Look. We're also coming out with a website soon. It's a state-of-the-art thing. It'll be up and running. It's going to cut costs, and it will make ordering much, much easier. Oh, okay. Well, when it's up, I'll check it out, and if it really cuts costs, maybe we'll come back. Great. The magic of the gift basket. That I don't care about as much. Let me know when the site's up. Okay. Did you forget something? What happened to you guys? Give it back. Give it back. What is this? It's this is real simple. If you don't appreciate what we do, then give us back our basket. Maybe you should leave. Yeah, maybe we should. Maybe we should leave. Come on, let's leave. But before we leave, my wet friend and I are gonna wait for our cabs on your nice couches. Can you call us a cab, please? I'm gonna, oh, sorry. Look, Look my clothes are so wet. wet. Nice leather. Oh, my shoes are so muddy. All right, here you go. Take it back. It's been opened. Yeah, it was mine. What's missing? The turtles. Where are Summer the turtles? Sausage. Where are the turtles? Come on, guys, get out of here. Where are the turtles? Okay. Where are they? Excuse me, I have an announcement to make. We seem to be missing a box of chocolate turtles with pecans, and we will not be leaving the premises until we obtain them. Hand over the turtles now. I ate them, okay? I ate the turtles. They're gone. We'll bill you.